After a long time, our Hellboy is coming back with a new Hellboy movie called Hellboy the Crooked Man. Hellboy, a character from Dark Horse Comics created by Mike Mignola, has had a decent number of movies and now there's a new one. Hellboy is a popular hero in comic books, similar to the ones from Marvel and DC. He's a demon turned monster hunter and people love his stories. The comics have a mix of action, comedy and horror giving filmmakers lots of exciting material to adapt for the big screen. This new movie is another reboot, bringing back the character for more adventures. So if you like big revolvers and devil horns, get ready for the return of Hellboy. Hellboy started his journey on the big screen in 2004 with a movie simply called Hellboy. Directed by Guillermo del Toro and starring Ron Perlman as the lovable big red monster hunter, it became a fan favorite despite not being a huge hit at the box office. Del Toro and Perlman joined forces again for a sequel in 2008, Hellboy 2 The Golden Army, which many consider just as good or even better than the first. However, despite the potential for more sequels, Del Toro's busy schedule and other projects led to the series being put on hold. In 2019, a remake of Hellboy was attempted, starring David Harbour, but it didn't do well with critics or at the box office. Now, there's hope for a revival with Hellboy the Crooked Man, directed by Brian Taylor. This new installment promises to focus more on horror elements, offering a unique take on the Hellboy universe. Although the project is still in the early stages, fans are excited about the prospect of a fresh and thrilling Hellboy adaptation. As of now, there is no trailer for Hellboy the Crooked Man since pre-production has just begun. It will take some time before there's something to show eager fans who are looking forward to the next chapter in the Hellboy series. Stay tuned for updates. Filming for Hellboy the Crooked Man began in April 2023 and concluded in May of the same year. While the original comic is set in the Appalachian Mountains of North America, the movie was primarily shot in Bulgaria. The decision to film in Bulgaria might have been made for various reasons, including the availability of suitable locations and cost considerations. Mike Mignola, the creator of Hellboy, expressed his congratulations to the cast and crew of Hellboy the Crooked Man on Instagram. It's always a positive sign when the original creator is supportive and involved in the adaptation. And fans are likely eager to see how the film brings the iconic character to life in a new and potentially more horrifying way. Regarding the comic origins of Hellboy the Crooked Man, the film draws inspiration from the original Hellboy comic of the same name by Mike Mignola. The movie aims for accuracy and faithfulness to his sensational work, making it one of the standout entries in the Hellboy series. The storyline of The Crooked Man unfolds as a period piece set in the late 1950s, with the primary setting being the desolate woods of the Appalachian Mountains. In this eerie backdrop, Hellboy encounters an injured woman who has fallen victim to some form of witchcraft or curse. The plot thickens with the introduction of Tom Farrell, a local drifter claiming knowledge about the source of the dark magic plaguing the region. As Hellboy and Tom Farrell delve deeper into the mysteries of Appalachia, they uncover a true menace tied to an entity known as the Crooked Man. This character, a former tax collector who managed to escape the hangman's noose, transforms into a soul collector in the service of the devil. The narrative takes a chilling turn, filled with unsettling adventures, terrifying imagery, and unexpected twists and turns. The combination of historical setting, supernatural elements, and the enigmatic Crooked Man promises a unique and gripping addition to the Hellboy cinematic universe. Hellboy the Crooked Man is being directed by Brian Taylor, a self-proclaimed Hellboy superfan known for his work on films such as both Crank movies, Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance, and Mom and Dad. Taylor has also directed the series Happy and is recognized for his fast-paced filmmaking style, known for delivering incredible premises and action sequences. Chris Golden is credited with penning the script for Hellboy the Crooked Man, marking their first IMDb credited role. Additionally, Mike Mignola, the creator of the Hellboy IP, is reportedly involved in the story development. Mignola expressed his enthusiasm for the chosen storyline, The Crooked Man, stating that it has been a personal favorite of his. He emphasized that the film will have a smaller scale, focusing on a dark and subtle folk horror story, making it a more budget-friendly and intimate exploration compared to larger-scale Hellboy narratives. 
As of March 2, 2023, it has been officially confirmed that Jack Kesey will be taking on the role of Hellboy in The Crooked Man. Kesey, known for his roles in action-packed films like 12 Strong, Deadpool 2, and Without Remorse, will be donning the iconic oversized hand and shaved down devil horns. Millennium Media co-founder Jonathan Younger praised Kesey's casting, highlighting his dynamic acting abilities and perfect fit for portraying a younger Hellboy. Younger expressed his admiration for Kesey's talent, citing their previous collaboration on The Outpost. Joining Kesey in the cast are Jefferson White and Adeline Rudolph. White is set to play the character Tom Farrell, while Rudolph will take on the role of Bobby Joe Song. With this casting announcement, the lead trio for Hellboy the Crooked Man is now complete, promising an exciting movie with a fresh dynamic led by Kesey's portrayal of the beloved character. The film is set to explore a darker and more intimate folk horror story, and fans are eager to see how this new adaptation unfolds under the direction of Brian Taylor. The upcoming Hellboy movie might draw inspiration from a recent comic storyline, Hellboy No. 1. In this fresh narrative, Hellboy undergoes a striking transformation into a giant robot across a three-issue miniseries. The story takes him on a mission assigned by a mysterious organization to explore an island overrun by dangerous kaiju, colossal monsters. The comic, brought to life by the creative team of Mike Mignola, Duncan Figredo, Dave Stewart, and Clem Robbins, sees Hellboy in 1967 London, where he is kidnapped and tranquilized for this unique task. His brain waves are unknowingly transferred to a giant robot version of himself to navigate the challenges of the kaiju-filled island. As Hellboy grapples with controlling his new giant robot form, and faces off against monstrous adversaries, the mysterious organization's motives come into question. The comic introduces another agent named Gian, who recovers essential documents from a bunker infested with giant spiders. Considering this intriguing storyline of Hellboy No. 1, it's possible that the new movie, Hellboy the Crooked Man, could incorporate elements from this recent comic arc. Fans anticipating the film may find connections to Hellboy's giant robot adventure and the enigmatic organization's involvement in the upcoming cinematic adaptation. To explore the full details, enthusiasts will have to stay tuned for both the comic series and the movie. The prospect of a new Hellboy film appeared dim following Neil Marshall's 2019 adaptation, which failed to resonate with audiences, earning only $55.1 million globally. Guillermo del Toro had previously introduced the demon to widespread acclaim, turning him into a cinematic sensation. Well, that's it. For now, make sure that you like our video. Please share your views in the comment section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated, and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you at the next one.